top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap now, but the rest is a rap and a black. Yo man. guys, what is going on, Tempest here? So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make your own graphic design portfolio on Wix.com. It's really simple and I'll just be showing you guys how to do it very easily. So the first thing you want to do is go over to Wix.com. You want to log in or make an account. Um, I've already got an account. You can sign in with Google Plus and stuff with like that. So what you want to do is create a new site. As you can see, that was my really old site right there that I made. I'm going to make a new one right now. So once you've done that, uh, it comes up with all these different types of websites you can make. So obviously we'll be making a portfolio. So you just want to click on that. And then you've got the uh, Wix ADI. Basically, it uses it like uses its uh, intelligence, as you can see right there, and it basically helps you out a lot more um, with like custom settings and stuff. Or you can just go over to create your own Wix uh, using the Wix editor. Uh, I'll be showing you guys how to do that. Uh, so yeah, let's just get straight into it. So once you've gone on that, you, there's, as you can see on the side, you can refine it and stuff. Uh, you can pick the portfolio on the right. Uh, if you can scroll down, there's lots of many different styles. So I'm just going to go and design on the left side uh, to start off. And now, as you can see, it shows lots of different uh, styles you can go for. Very nice. There's many, many pages. Uh, but I'm just going to be starting off with this one right here. So when you hover over it, uh, you can view it to see what it's like um, and if you don't like it you can obviously choose a different one or you can just go straight in and edit it so let's just do that let's wait for it to load so once you've come on it uh, obviously it shows what you can do with a Wix editor um, so what we're going to do first I'll just show you guys the basics so at the top as you can see there's a custom title uh, I'll just change that if you just type whatever you want and then as you can see on the right there's a little box and you can edit the text basically so as you can see you can make it larger smaller um, you can change the font uh, the size all that type of basic stuff I think I'll just keep it like that no uh, like that for now uh, as well you can also add effects to it but I'm just gonna keep it like this nice and clean um, as you can see below you've got all the different pictures and stuff now this is where you put your own pictures so you can either just double cl click on it and then change it um, by just like pressing delete and then add image or we can just delete it all together so we've got our own space and we'll start adding them in a second at the bottom you've got a little menu and you can add to this menu if you want um, all you've got to do is just click on it and then go to manage menu and you can add more pages so say if you wanted to do a page on illustrations um, another page on manipulations all that type of stuff uh, you can do that and then you've got the about section contact all that type of stuff for a portfolio so what we're going to do first is just add a few images on the front home page of the portfolio so what we're going to do is just go to add and then, as you can see, you've got lots of different things you can add to the front page. We're just going to add an image. So go to My Images. And then you want to go to Upload Image. And then choose um, an image. I've already chose one right here. And then you just want to add to page. And then you go, you've got your first image. And basically, because this is the home page, um, I would just add a few of your best work this is obviously isn't my best work but it's just the first one that's just an example so I'm just gonna make it a bit small by clicking the corner and then as you can see you can change the image uh, you can go with the settings and all that type of stuff animations so say if you want it to bounce in or glide in or something you can do that but I'm just gonna keep it as it was so what you, you can also do is if you go to settings, you can change what happens when you click on it. So a, a link might open, it opens in a pop-up and things like that. You can magnify it, so like zoom in. Um, so say if uh, you've made this uh, design and you've uploaded a speed out or something to YouTube like I've done, you can add a link and then go to web address and then type in that video 
and then when you click on it it'll just bring you to the speed out which is really hand handy and uh, so it's a pretty cool feature to have um, so say once you've got all these images on the screen um, next what you can do is add a new tab at the bottom so you can just scroll down add a new page and you can call this whatever you want um, illustrations done and then there you go you've got illustrations I think yeah not done that right but it's fine um, and then you can add some pictures and stuff in here maybe you want to add a gallery of photos just click that and then it'll bring in a gallery and then you can change the pictures on here just by double clicking and then go into um, sorry I think I've done that wrong yeah you just go to manage media and then you can change the pictures and also you can change the layout of it you might want grid a slideshow totally up to you guys there's many different settings and options you can choose from and it's really cool if you go to add as well sorry if you go to whoops you can add a background as well at the top right here you can have a solid color all this um, some preset backgrounds over here pretty cool you can have moving ones or just still images which is really cool. So I think I'll just choose. Um, I'll just choose that for now. So you've got the background done. You've, we've got the title at the top. If you want to add some more text, you can. As you can see, the text is there. Maybe underneath, put graphic design portfolio. Um, you've got buttons as well which you can use to like take you to different websites um, take you to different pages in your portfolio and also you can add more menus and stuff you can also add um, your social media at the top of something so if you just click on that social bar drag it in and then it's really handy as when people when people look at your portfolio they might want to get in contact with you um, or check out other work for example like on YouTube for me um, people can just click on the YouTube and see all my different videos and stuff and how I make my graphics or Instagram if you upload to there and stuff which is really good you can also add that on the contact page if you do have the contact page you might not have it it's totally up to you guys but yeah guys, it's pretty easy to make your own portfolio. There's many different options and it's easy to get used to. And like I said, if you don't wanna um, use this method, there's also the AVI method um, that we did see before. And it's a lot more helpful. There's videos you can watch, as you can see, even here. It just It's a very easy to um, get used to. Um, and yeah, there's many different features you can use to make your portfolio as good as possible. But yeah, that's about it for the video. If you've got any questions, make sure to comment down below. Hit the like button, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video.